Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how to not waste your time. So stop procrastination. So I have another video on procrastination earlier that I made, but this is based on, this video is based on Jay Shetty's um, uh, speech um, that I learned recently, that I watched recently, and um, there's actually eight parts to it. Um, I just picked the ones that I was able to resonate. So I'm only going to talk about four of them in this video, and then I'll create a part two for other two, um, for the other four, um, only because I know when you, um, when you listen to so many um, information all at once, it's hard to uh, remember all of it. So I'll focus on four of them only in this video. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity and empowering others to live their life the way they want it. We're all creators. We have the divine capability to create our life the way we want. So let's make it beautiful together. So let's dive in. So today's topic about procrastination. Um, a lot of us, you know, procrastination, we tend to think it's negative, but it's not always negative. But today's video, the four aspects I'm going to focus on, the four types of procrastination I'm going to focus on are a little bit negative, um, but not necessarily bad. Um, but I just wanted to share it with you anyway. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, I watched um, Jay Shetty's video recently, and this kind of motivated me to um, share that knowledge with you all. So the first one he mentioned, um, he there is a, a researcher in procrastination called Alexander Rosa, Rosalind, and he basically came up with four types of um, uh, triggers that triggers procrastination. Um, so you know there are people who overthink, overanalyze, and they tend to not get into what they need to do, and they keep delaying and delaying, and they don't know why they're delaying. And, and we all go through that at one point in our time. Even I have done it um, where I'm like, I know I have the time to do it, I want to do it, but I'm not taking that first step to do it. So why is that? So the first thing is to identify what's triggering you to procrastinate. So Alexander basically, as a procrastination researcher, came up with four types of procrastination that happens because um, of these things. So number one is expectancy. Um, so expectancy is basically not expecting not to achieve basically so you're not want you're not wanting to do something because you're already expecting to not achieve number two is lack of value so when you don't have value in what you're doing then it's it's you're not going to put your time and effort to it because you don't resonate with it you're not um, you don't have any interest to move forward um, so that's number two. Number three is time. So we often say, you know, we don't have time, this and that, but it's not just time. It's having, it's not, it's, it's related to the value. Basically it's, it's when your value is too far away for the time that you have in the moment, you won't take the time to do it. And the last one is impulsivity. Impulsivity is, you know, um, because the way you feel in that moment, you're not, you're always thinking about different things at one time. Um, and so you keep jumping on to different things and you're not focusing on that one thing that you should be focusing on to continue or finish um, whatever you need to do. So that's the four types um, of procrastination. Once you identify what's triggering you, then you can learn to manage it. So make sure next time you procrastinate, kind of identify yourself in which four categories you're in and try to learn, uh, move, um, move away from it and see what you can work um, on in order to move on with your projects or whatever you're working on. Number two is um, basically having judgments, judgments about yourself. So a lot of us, I shouldn't say a lot of us, many of us do tend to um, put put ourselves down uh, more than what we should be. We we have so high expectations for ourselves, and then we tell ourselves, you know, we need to achieve this, achieve that. And when we don't, we we blame ourselves a lot. We tend to say we're not good enough. Um, if you're one of those people that say you're not good enough, um, you know, you can't do it. A lot of people use that can't, and it's it's all negative. So you're what you're doing is bas basically creating a negative prison for yourself, and you're stuck in that environment because that's why you're not moving forward because you think you're not good enough or you think you're not worthy enough. Um, you feel like um, you know you should you're not you don't deserve it. Whatever it is, you 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 don't believe in yourself. 
So what you need to do is let go. Let go of whatever limiting belief system you have in yourself and just let it be. Just just let it go and move on and say you can do it. Start doing positive affirmations, but it's not just about saying positive uh, affirmations, but it's also taking actions. Um, so take that first step to do things. Number three is basically prioritizing. We often tend to like to um, improve our life in all aspects. So, you know, let's say you want to um, get a healthier and then you want to get a better job. You want to be in a better relationship. Whatever it is, you tend to sometimes focus on all of all at once. You want everything to be improved. And then what happens is when you want everything, then you, you don't take the step to do any of it because you're, you're just overwhelmed about it. Um, or sometimes you do bits and pieces here and there. You're jumping around and you're not focusing, putting 100%. It's like multitasking. You have to start start monotasking where you focus on one thing and start prioritizing that and then you take that um, step. So I like the way he said it, you know, make sure your first step is a small step because when, when, when you take big steps, sometimes it's, it's overwhelming or it, it could be um, very challenging where you don't start taking the next step. It's about the journey. Take each step one at a time and keep moving forward. Have increments, have your goal, set your goal and just keep moving forward. So that's that. And the last one I wanted to share with you today is to keep yourself accountable. And how do you do that is make sure you have like an accountability partner. Um, so this goes for gym, this goes for anything, relationship, career, you can have someone that holds you accountable. Someone that will be honest about you know their opinion and say, hey, you're doing this again, you should stop this. Whatever it is, tell someone that you need to do this, you have an idea and you wanna do this and keep keep yourself accountable for it because when you tell yourself that you're going to do this, um, you know, some people are good at keeping themselves accountable, but when you have a buddy, then the, they can check in and say, Hey, you mentioned you're working on this. Did you get a chance to finish it? Or where are you right now? Um, are you progressing? Whatever it is, then they are also helping you out. And when you do that, then it's actually very helpful for you because then when you know you have to respond to someone, then you will, you will, you'll actually do it. It's like eating healthy. Um, you tell yourself you can start eating healthy and then you, you know, sometimes start, uh, falling off the wagon and start eating um, bad things, junk food, and then sometimes it continues on because you're not really telling anyone else that you're doing something. But as soon as you tell someone, even your family member, your friends, or whoever it is, then they see you eat it, then they're like, hey, I thought you were on a diet, you know, how come you're eating this? And then even if you don't want to go to that route, let's say um, you go to a, an actual clinic or a diet, um, when they check your weight every single day or every week, whatever you do, then then you're holding yourself accountable. So you don't want to go there next time and, and you know, your weight is over or, you know, you want to tell, tell, be able to tell them that you're on this and you're sticking to it. So that's what the accountability partner helps you to do. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. I have four other information that I'll share in my next video um, that can help you with, um, uh, you know, overcoming procrastination. Not that it's all, all negative. Um, so the next one, I'm gonna try to focus on a positive side as well. Um, if this video was helpful, please share this with your family members and, um, and friends. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification button. I'm very determined to creating weekly videos for you guys to empower you to live your life to the fullest potential. Um, until then, namaste.